Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevDactic. Today I'm going to show you how to use drag and drop inside your Ionic 2 app. And for this we will use a component called Dragula or Dragula, whatever it is. It's also available for Angular 1, but this lib is especially for Angular 2. So the demo of this looks like this. You can move stuff from one list to another list. Um, you can have different behavior, like give it a color once it's in another bag, um, drag it out, um, keep a copy in place, whatever it is. So there are many things. But first of all, let's start our new Ionic app. Um, we use the blank template, um, we use Ionic 2, and we also want to have TypeScript support. So let this install of our blank app run through and then we can continue with the npm packages of Dragula. Okay, so once the app is ready, we can navigate to the folder and we can start to install our package. We also want to save it to our package JSON just if we need it later, whatever. Um, and on the page, you can already find the setup guide it's pretty easy. So let's open the text editor of your choice, whatever it is. Um, and hopefully, uh, yeah. Navigate to your app folder and we take the home TS file for now. So, first of all, we need to import the stuff we just installed. And we need to import Dragula and the Dragula service. Um, I'm not sure if we actually need it by now, but um, let's keep it there. So this is not something I really like, but it's the only way I found to use it by now. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I hope we can find our package now. It's not finding it. Well, it should be in that place. Um, we will see an error later if we made um, um, Let's serve it already so we can see if it's right or wrong um, So we can keep the log at the bottom of our screen to see some TypeScript errors in case we made something um, Yeah, actually, I think we need to go up one more path and now the import is green, so we don't have any errors anymore. Um, additionally, we need to specify an array of directives we're going to use. Yes, thanks for this app. Um, as you can see, only the fuff icon is missing, but we don't care currently. So add the Dragula to the directives and also to the providers array, um, the Dragula service in this case. Inside our home page, we now need um, two buckets um, or bags, how they are called inside Dragula. So Q1 and Q2. And inside import in our constructor, we need the Dragula service um, just to show you how you can react to events from that library. You don't have to use it, but um, you will see why we use it in a second. So to start our simple demonstration, um, let's make it look good. Um, we fill our arrays with some some numbers, just, just we get some data and we push simply some strings um, and the number just yeah, just to have anything we can distinguish from each other so this will be in the first bucket and those things are going to be in the second bucket and now we're going to use the Dragula service we defined um, and we can subscribe to the drop event. You already see there are some events like cancel, clone, drop, 
um, whatever. And we can simply subscribe to the drop event. And we will get the value of the dropped element inside the callback here. And once it's called, we want to give out a simple alert. So if we want to use the alert, we obviously need to import it from Ionic Angular. And we create our alert message with simply, let's say, title item moved. Um, and the subtitle, whatever, so much fun. Um, I'm not sure if we actually need a button here or if there's uh, one already existing, but yeah. Um, I think it should be, oh, come on, really? Um, I'm not sure what's the matter here. So I think we can use alert. Um, well, come on, Ionic. But this should work. No, this is also not working by now. So, okay, give me a second to see what's wrong. Okay, so the API has changed again from the time I made this to now. So now we're gonna use the alert controller and call um, alert controller create title, subtitle, buttons. And finally, um, we're gonna use this alert and simply call present on it. So I think Oh yeah, do we really need this? Um, yeah, might be the case that we need to add the alert controller here of the type alert controller. And now we should be able, hopefully, okay, so again, no, no problem now. But the problem is now we need to call this dot alert controller create. Um, okay, so until here everything's working, okay. Okay, so yeah, that's what it's like to, to work with beta versions. Um, come on, it's definitely existing on an uh, alert. I'm not sure what's the problem in this moment. So maybe some. Okay, great. They somehow uh, fucked up the API and I can't use present anymore. Okay. Well, that's not legit. I don't like that. So maybe I can still use the navigation controller. Whatever, we will we will keep this uh, for now because it's not the most important part of this tutorial. So whatever, we can also just give out a lock if this is not working for whatever reasons. Yeah, I don't care anymore. 
So greetings to the team. Okay, well, let's start with a view. And this is Iowa Defdactic drag and drop. And inside our content, we obviously don't need this stuff. And we also don't want padding. Um, but we want to have a row and we want to have two separate columns inside our view. So we're gonna use ion call and use the size 50. Um, I'm not sure why this happens. And we will also add some CSS later on. Oh yeah, obviously it's ion call. Oof, come on. Inside our first column, we want to have a little header. So it will have the class header, and this is the first bucket. And now we're going to use an ion list. So standard ion list. Now we can use Dragula and specify um, a name. And this name will be used on the second as well. So Dragula knows that these two lists can be dropped between each other. Um, and we also use the Dragula model to say, okay, please use everything that's in this array, which is Q1. And inside, well, actually it's not very interesting what's inside. Um, but we want to have an ng4 to actually display the items of our list um, of q1. Okay, nothing really interesting there. And finally close the ion list. Okay, so this is our first column. And the second one will simply be for Q2. And well, it has the class right. Um, and yeah. Okay. Everything's cool. Okay, we didn't close the ion row. So let's close it. And we see, well, it's not very, very good looking at this point. So let's go to our CSS file and I already prepared some CSS. We don't use the home class anymore, but um, no, this is wrong. We will use some additional CSS. So this is simply for our components um, and displaying them correctly. But this stuff here below is copied from some repository related to Dragula, maybe even the official one. And this will help to get a cool animation uh, inside our view. But I already noticed um, some little changes we need to apply. And also like this. So now we're gonna use our drag and drop in action, hopefully. So here are our two lists. And we can now simply drag the stuff from one list to another. And you can see that actually the item is copied to the different list and removed from the first one. And as we wanted to have um, the regular service, the alert controller worked not for some reason. Um, let's see what happens. So now if we drag nothing happens, but if we drop, we get the log of the event. And there are a few events you can subscribe to Dragula, so you can use them to catch some information um, the life cycle of your Dragula app. So this was how to add drag and drop to Ionic 2 app. Uh, if you like this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want the full code, check out the link below the video to my blog. And have a great day and build great apps. Bye.